Hey, Dustin Tibbetts here, financial advisor with Jazz Wealth Managers. Check us out if you get a moment. Well, anyways, we're going to talk about mind games today. Now, I have a long history. My personal future, is, or my personal future, my personal history is I actually started as a trader. My dad was a large lumbers futures trader, lumber futures trader. This video is not going very well. <laughs> he was a lumber futures trader, and it really uh, kind of got me interested. Well. I kind of got into it little by little. I've done everything from the day trading to options trading. Futures trading is kind of my sort of a drug of choice, but um, I've done it all. And so one of the things that you come across is the mind games, whether you're trading minute by minute or trying year by year, there's a lot of mind games out there. I want to help you conquer those. Well, the first thing that causes people to start to play little mind games with their accounts is the fact that you have to actually put the money in. If you have a Roth IRA or an IRA with us, maybe a SEP IRA or whatever it is, well, I can only motivate you to put money in based on the goals you give me. It's up to you to physically do it. See, our, we don't actually have our clients' accounts. They maintain their own accounts. And I'll put a video up here that why we work with a certain brokerage firm and how that all works. But basically, it's up to you to put the money in. So what you have to do here is set up an automated contribution. Now, we can actually do automated contributions of $5 a week if you want, but the point is automate it. When you have a job or you have a 401k at that job, it just comes out of your check automatically. Your contributions go right into your investments uh, automatically and you don't have to do anything about it. So if you have your own IRA, let's make that automated and just once and for all, just set it up and don't look back. The second thing I want you to do is get your mind right about some down years. A lot of you have never even seen a market fall, uh, but it will fall eventually, even though people guess and try to time it and all that stuff. At some point, it's gonna have a down year. Something's gonna happen. We're gonna have to slow down. Just get your mind right for that, that that's a good thing. Anytime we can buy at a discount, so long as you have plenty of time until retirement, well, it's actually a good thing. It's nothing to be scared about. The third thing I want you to consider is for you to be your own investor. Don't follow the crowd. I can't tell you how many people call me and tell me what they want out of their investments. And then when I tell them what we do, they say, no, no, I want 25% this, I want 25% this. But that doesn't get to the goals that they want. It's just what they heard they were supposed to do. Now that might be fine for some of you, but most of you call me because you know I'll work with you customizing your investments for you. And so if you tell me you want super growth and you're 25 years old and you've got forever, and then you tell me you want half of your investments in bonds, well, we're gonna argue a little bit, right? Because I don't care what people told you. If you're telling me you want growth, and that's what I gotta get you. Your independent investment situation is of course unique. Don't follow the crowd, ask someone, if this is what I want, what should I invest in? And let them give you the advice. I certainly hope you'll choose us. And the fourth thing I want you to keep in mind to help get your mind right for investing is although some of these retirement accounts are flexible, don't think of them as flexible. I can't tell you like how easy it is to know, oh, I can pull some money out of my Roth anytime I want. Yeah, you can, but that's not the goal, right? If you're investing for a house five years from now, great. Let's wait five years and then pull the money out or do whatever you're doing. If you're investing for retirement, if something goes wrong in your life, try not to think of your retirement account as the first place you go to to pull money out. You're missing out on growth. You may have to pay some kind of penalty depending on the account type. We really want to try to figure this out. How do we get through whatever the personal situation you have is uh, so that you don't have to take from your retirement account? Now, the good news is at Jazz Wealth, Anything that touches your money, I want to help you with. So we have countless number of clients that, hey, something happens. They need some money. And I'll walk through your entire financial situation to help you find money elsewhere before we start taking money out of a retirement account that could cost you in the long run. Well, I hope you like that video. And if so, then there may be another one up there that you're interested in. If you're thinking of opening or transferring a retirement account from somewhere else, click our logo over here and that'll take you to our website to get started. Or you can then click chat with Jazz and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks for watching and I hope to talk to you soon.